Welcome to Text to Nation. Joining us is Isaac Redenberg, the president of Goya Move. Thank you for joining us, Isaac. Thanks, Fred. I'm excited to be here. Well, tell us what Goya Move is all about. So there is an epidemic problem that's happening around the world, and that's kids are glued to their cell phone all day long. So instead of being outside playing, doing kid things, they're inside and just stuck on their apps and just not exercising or moving. So we invented a app called Goya Move, and it's designed to get kids off of their phones and outside playing again. How does it do that? Okay, so really simple. With, with what's out in technology today, we have your typical quote-unquote parental control apps. So as a parent, I just set a time, and between the hours of, let's say, 3 to 7, you are not allowed to be on your phone. So we're just going to block and punish you by taking away your phones. Kids don't react well to it. There's no goal for motivating you to, to move, to get, your, to get your phone access back. It's just basically punishment, and kids don't take that well. We went with a completely different approach. We don't like to call it parental you know, control. We don't want to control your children. We want to manage and teach you accountability and moderation. So what we did was pretty simple. We assigned steps. Okay? We're not saying you can't use your phone. We're saying exercise and move too. So how it works is as a parent, the, the app is loaded on my phone as well as my children's phone. And I set the child a daily step goal. 10,000, 25, 12, your choice. And from there, I can break it down by hour if I wanted to so that, so that the math algorithm between the time and the steps tells you how many steps you need to take in that, in that certain time period. So when those, And then I get to choose which apps are blocked when, until those steps are made. So when the step credits are accomplished, the apps automatically unlock, whether it's for the full day or by the hour it resets itself. Interesting. Now, uh, what was the motivation in creating this? So between me and my co-founder, Carrie Mackey, who is um, my fiance, we have six children. So yes, six. I know that's a crazy number. Uh, they range anywhere from 12 to 22. And screen time addiction was a big, big problem in our own house. So when we do have that problem with our children, we have a park right across the street from us. And it's a beautiful day. It's go outside, go out and play. And they're just on their phones. They just want to watch YouTube videos and Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook. And it's just not what kids need to be doing. They're, that's, that was the motivation. How do you get around the, the angles that kids would try to find to defeat this, whether it's strapping their phone onto the pet or whatever? <laughs> really good question. So, so that was, that's actually the most common question that I've gotten is, is what stops a child from throwing it in a dryer or from, from strapping it to the pet to walk around. And here it is. Let them. They're off their phone. <laughs> if the phone is on their dog, they're not on it, which means, you know, which means that they're, they're – uh, they have to be doing something else. So, you know, part of, part of the other thing is we have a, we have a couple techie little kids that like to, that like to challenge us. Um, and they said, well, we're going to come up with us with a, with another app that, that fights this one. Great. Use that brain, get it off the YouTube videos and video games. You use your brain and develop that app. But more importantly, the kids don't feel like they're punished. Um, but that's what we found. And we found that they are taking those extra steps. Um, a good example would be we took the smallest one to a doctor's appointment, and the appointment was on the third floor. And, you know, we were standing by the elevator, and he says, can we please take the stairs? I need to get my steps. And that's when we knew we hit a home run. Very cool. Now tell us about uh, the platforms you're available on and pricing. Sure. So we are available both on Android and Apple. And let me tell you what we've done, too. I believe we are the first of its kind where we are interoperable, meaning if, you're, if the parent has an Android or an Apple and the child has the opposite, it still works. We were able to figure out how to make an Apple phone manage an Android phone and vice versa. So the pricing for the app is free. It's a free download till the end of the year, and it's a free subscription. Uh, we do have lots of new tools for parents that will be coming out. Uh, that'll, that'll be upgradable, but, but the app itself is free. However many kids uh, in the household, it's all, it's all free to use right now? All 
free to use. But there are plans for a subscription? How, how, will, how are you planning that to work? Yeah, we, we plan, you know, there's a scalable model, and we do have, we do have other neat tools that will come out that will be add-ons. Um, you know, there, there, there are some little advertising bits that, that you'll get on the phone, and you'll be able to pay um, $1.99 per child um, if you want to get rid of the advertisements. Um, and we haven't quite decided what the new pricing model will be. Um, we'll figure that out once we, once we um, finish up with the app development of the add-ons. And once uh, once this is installed, are there is it kind of foolproof? Uh, the, are kids able to f- figure out ways to to turn it off, rebooting the phone, whatever? Sure. So that's a really good question too. So we we we're, we're one step ahead. You know, I'm going to use that term one step ahead. If the if the child removes the app or figures out a way to to remove the app or any of its profile, it'll actually send a message to the parents letting them know that it happened. So the second that the account is turned off, the parent will get a notification that the child turned off the account. Now, you gave us a a personal kind of anecdote there, but uh, are you hearing from others who are using this app about the effectiveness? Oh, it's it's been really effective. I I get emails all the time um, and even personal, personal text messages from friends when we originally had launched this that they absolutely love it. And that, and that the kids are actually responding really well to it because they don't feel like they're punished. Accountability and moderation was our goal here, right? We're, we're not saying you can't use your phone and this and that. It's go ahead, use it. Take a Snapchat, send a selfie, you know, po- post your thing, but also go out and play. And what we found was that once the kids are outside and playing, those phones usually don't come out. They're, they usually spend that time playing. It's that initial push and motivation to get them outside that, that we've accomplished. Terrific. Uh, where can people get more information? Sure. The website is goyamove.com. It's G-O-Y-A-M-O-V-E.com. And we're on Facebook. We're on Instagram, Twitter um, with the same handle. And just to give you a heads up, Goya stands for Get Off Your Apps. Get off your apps. <laughs> Go, GoyaMove.com is the website. Isaac Redenberg, thanks for taking the time with us. Thank you, Fred. I appreciate it. Now this. How many companies out there have continued to innovate when it comes to building a better radio? I'm Fred Fishkin, host of Text to Nation, and I'm here to tell you about the new CC SkyWave SSB radio from the wonderful people at Crane. Bob and his crew really love radio, and it shows in this new compact model that is packed with features. Beyond great AM and FM reception and sound, you can tune into shortwave signals from around the world. Listen to ham radio operators, aviation, and more. It's the radio you'll turn to every day, and in emergencies. It will run for nearly three days on just two AA batteries. Pair the sleep timer with the new Soft Speaker 3, and you've got the perfect radio for your nightstand. Of course, it can wake you up too. Click on Crane at textination.com and put in the code TEXTINATION for a free flashlight with your order. They love radio, and you'll love Crane.